Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Dumpster Cam. We're going to do some live diving today again. Hopefully we find some good stuff. Hitting our first stop here, and I do see a large black bag already from the door right there in the dumpster. And usually those are filled with snacks at this store, so let's check. Fingers crossed. garbage. I might be able to take those to return. Ooh. That's soap. <laughs> Everything's covered in soap. a mess. Clean mess, but still a mess. Alright, just garbage today. We're at the next spot, and I already took an initial peek, um, but yes, it is a mess. This looks like a piece from a letter holder that I found a long, long time ago, but obviously a different one. But here's what I saw. It's a boy. All these garden flags. Tons of them. Mm, some broken glass. These are in there little cookies. I'm assuming that's what they look like. I will take some of those for sure. Um, and then I'm going to keep digging around. Alright, I'm at the pharmacy if you can see that. And I just opened up the dumpster and it looks like we have a bag over here that has some stuff in it. That looks cool. It's like an icy massage ball, and then some pull-ups and stuff, and then of course tons of books that they ripped the cover off of. Per, not that the store is required to do that, so I'm going to grab a few things from in here. Next stop is the $5 store here. Mm. Okay, so there's some flower seeds over there. There might be stuff in that box. Or that bag. Let me get my grabber. I can't do this with one hand, but I'm going to have to pull it out and check. Okay, guys, look, I'm at that store. Um, and this is gorgeous. It's in a box with another one that's broken, and they didn't even open it, so this one has nothing wrong with it. The other one, just the glass is broken, so I might take that too, even if just for this little wreath, because that is adorable, so this is a great find. Alright, I just came to check out the pharmacy, and I am like two minutes too late. That's it right there, he's taking it away, so hopefully I didn't miss out on anything good, but you never know. Sad day. Okay, let's get right into the haul. Um, before we get into what I found, most of this, well, that's not a ton of stuff, but I found some of it on camera, and actually a lot of it I found off camera. I have been holding on to those live dive videos for over a week now. I've just been busy. It's that time of the year. I'm sure everybody's feeling the same. Don't mind my blanket mess back here. Uh, it's just a busy time of year, so I'm trying my best. Uh, of course, I'm always still dumpster diving, and I am going to clean up my car in just a second so I can feel good about it. Uh, before I get to this stuff, I just want to update you on my vacuum over here. This box now is empty and I'm going to take it out to the trash, but it works perfectly. There's not a single thing wrong with it. I am so excited still that I found it. Um, this light on the handle is the most amazing thing because that's all I ever wanted in a vacuum. <laughs> and it's not easy to find, but this one has it, so it's like 
amazing that I found it. Um, the only complaint that I have, which is a small one, is that the cord on this one is a fair amount shorter than the other shark that I had been using. Um, so I do have to plug it in, like unplug it and plug it into a new spot more frequently. But uh, obviously that's manageable. The suction is great. The handle is great. It's all awesome. So again, definitely recommend sharks, especially if they're free. <laughs> uh, and then one more thing over here. I have four poinsettias. I think I need to water them. They're looking a little crusty here. Two red and two white. And these were perfectly fine. These were from the grocery store. Um, nothing wrong with them. Let me feel it. I thought I watered them a lot. Well, maybe. We'll see. Um, but I love the white ones especially. So I just have them sitting here doing great for the Christmas holiday. I don't have any pets or anything, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, coming over here to the things that I did find this week. Hasn't been tons of stuff, but still some good things. Uh, we'll start with this. This is a crystal, I don't know, it's just a Shannon crystal. It says, can't hold still, design of Ireland, but it's made in China. <laughs> I think that this was on a base or something. Maybe it was a bird feed or a bird bath, but this is extremely heavy. There's no cracks or chips or breaks or anything wrong with it. Just a really nice little crystal piece. Again, so heavy. Um, so there's that. From the same store, which was $2.99. Some Himalayan coarse salt with cumin. Ooh, I didn't even notice I had cumin in, in there. I love cumin. My favorite spice. This was thrown out because its best by date is November 2019, but it is salt. It will be fine. That's a good find right there. I have a thing of 500 cotton swabs. These are fine. They just have a few peeking out the sides over here. I don't use these. However, my sister does, so I think I will give those to her um, for her house. She definitely uses those. Uh, also from the pharmacy, which is where those cotton swabs came from as well, I have a pack of four light bulbs. These are all fine. None of them are broken. Soft white. It just had, if you can see, something spill on it, which does not affect light bulbs whatsoever. I'll just make sure they're not sticky before I plug it in. Uh, GE's Best Soft White. There's that. Uh, last thing from the pharmacy. You guys saw me find these. I think they're pretty cool looking. KT Recovery Ice Heat Massage Ball. So the instructions actually aren't even on here. It says you have to look it up at this website. So I'm going to do that. But I'm assuming you put the gel blue ball in the freezer, and then the orange ball you put in the microwave or something like that. I'm not going to do it without reading the instructions. But then you put it in the little roller, and you can roll out your muscles with it. And I have two of them. So that's a cool find right there. Behind that, from the uh, fabric craft store, I have three light-up stars. These are cool. However, they are cardboard. So these back two especially are a little bit worse for wear. I think I might just end up throwing those ones away, unfortunately. This one I think I'm going to paint. They do light up if you need, well, it does need batteries, so I'm not going to show you. But look at how much this was, $30. That is absolutely ridiculous for a cardboard light-up star. Ridiculous. But... I'll take it for free from the trash. <laughs> no complaining here. Okay, this was the only thing I could save from the $5 store. Everything else had been dumped. But this is a New Year's Eve party kit. It has eight party hats, eight fringe noisemakers, one bag of confetti, and eight lays. I'm fairly certain everything is in here. It just got a little bit squished. Let's check. New Year's Eve is coming up, end of the decade. Hope everybody celebrates accordingly. <laughs> yeah, so here's the hats. Happy New Year. And it doesn't have dates or anything, so this could be used even next year. There's the lays, the confetti, and the party horns. So, yep, that is a complete set that I got for free. Cool. Sorry, let me just put this back together. Alrighty. 
Uh, you saw me find these flags. I took this one that says Remembering a Journey. These came from that store. I have two that say It's a Boy. These were $5, so nothing crazy. And then one that says It's a Girl with the little giraffes on it. So that's cute. Little outdoor flags. And the last thing, which again you guys didn't see me find, is this 10-gallon party bucket. This was from the thrift store. It is bright green. It's like a, th not thin, but a malleable plastic. It does have a few marks on the inside that I can easily clean up with some soap and water. And like I said, there are no cracks in it whatsoever. So that's a great find, even to keep in my car to put some of my finds in. So aside from this, I did find that awesome picture frame. I do not have that with me. It's at my parents' house, so I'll insert a picture of it here. Absolutely nothing wrong with it, and I'm in love. I didn't end up taking the broken one because it was scratched up, but I went back and somebody had taken it, so that's good. Um, yeah, thank you guys for sticking around. I know it's been a while since my last video. I do my best, you know, to keep up. I wish I could post more, and some days I can, some weeks I can, but some weeks it's just too hectic, and I get them out when I can. So again, thank you guys for sticking around. I will see you guys soon in my next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Dumpster Cam, and I'll be back soon.